Martínez, dit is vrij, Promes, Tadic, dit is heel goed gespeeld en dat levert ook een heel mooi doelpunt op. This video is sponsored by ClipDraw, a software that we use to edit our videos. If you're interested in using this software too, please see the description below for affiliate links. A cultured Marcos Rojo or baby Passarella? Just how good is Lisandro Martinez? Torsa. Lisandro is a very aggressive defender. He's been compared to Cannavaro and he's similar in stature. He's rugged, he's fearless and he loves to get challenging. As the numbers indicate, he's a very busy defender, a lot of defensive actions. Not a player who's going to just sit off and allow the game to come to him. He wants to be on the front foot, proper modern defender, anticipates where the ball is going to go and looks to get in ahead of any attacker and punish any loose touches. Now, due to this aggressive style, it does necessitate abandoning his back line, but in fairness to him, he mostly does it when he has sufficient cover behind him. I wouldn't say he's blessed with elite defensive nows or elite recovery pace but he is very nimble he's very reactive and he hasn't got those long strides like a Ledley King style defender to rectify losing position but he is someone due to his small stature any loose balls he can get to it first Martinez is very comfortable at building play out from the back He's someone who has a world-class accuracy percentage over 90s comfortably. But what differentiates himself from other leading ball-playing centre-backs is the ability to step up into midfield and make a genuine difference in possession. He's not like your Van Dijk's or your Rio Ferdinand's who also had high passing percentages, but they're very safe and conservative on the ball. He's a risk-taker with the ball. He's someone who breaks from that defensive line and actually joins in with the midfield. An old-school libero. He reminds me of Baresi and Passarella. These were players who would leave the defence, join in with the midfield battle and genuinely influence proceedings with the ball. He's that type of calibre of player in possession. I wouldn't say he's as good as them, but in terms of the mindset he has, he reminds me of these old school sweeper types. Lissandro is the very definition of a cliched cultured left foot. His left leg really is a wand. And he can ping the ball over any distance and he usually hits the target with good speed, height and direction. He can even split defences with his long range passing and that's a great weapon to have. It's rare to see, especially in the modern game. And his switches of play, they're spectacular. You know, high tempo switches of play, not meaningless switches, safe conservative switches. He's genuinely progressing the attacking momentum of his team with these long passes. He can even turn defence into attack due to the quality and the accuracy of his long passing. If there was a slight criticism, he's almost got too much confidence in his long passing and that can lead to over-ambitious attempts. But with his pass accuracy percentage, he kind of deserves to sometimes just take a punt with his long passing. Rather like a Passarella or a Cannavaro, Lissandro doesn't let his lack of height get in the way of his unwillingness to compete in the air. Now, unfortunately, despite the stats indicating that he's more than competitive, the eye test suggests that he could be caught out in aerial leagues in a league as aggressive and aerially demanding as the Premier League. Now, I'm not saying he's going to be a liability. Clearly, the success rate of his aerial duels suggests that he's competitive. What I do mean is that he's not someone that I would identify as bringing into my side to make the defence stronger in the air. I, I think his stats are slightly inflated from being in a league such as the Eredivisie where a lot of the football sort of played on the floor. So I'd be keen to pair him with a physically superior defender who is more dominant than him in the air. In terms of dribbling, Martinez is one of the world's most press-resistant centre-backs. He's someone who's very comfortable at beating a man even when he's pressed and he's going to instantly improve the build-up play of any team he joins. He doesn't burst past players to the point where I'd want him at left-back, but give him tight spaces or eating up little yards in midfield, opening up angles to make up a pass or take a shot, 
He's excellent and he reminds me a bit of Passarella in terms of that cultured left footed style. Look at the way he just beats his man so easily and plays a right foot pass. Very, very composed in possession. Does the same thing again here. In terms of goal threat, Martinez loves a pop from distance and that probably explains why his accuracy rate is low. You have to consider he takes on shots from difficult distances and difficult opportunities. This is a situation where he's breaking from midfield. This reminds me a bit of Koeman, Passarella vibes. Joins in, escapes from the back line. Could play that pass there, decides it's a bit too risky. Probably going to get cut out. Plays the simple pass here. But look how aggressive he is once he plays this pass. He continues running into the box. Takes a quick look over his shoulder, sees that there's a man behind him. Plays that pass. Then he realises he's offside. Needs to come back onside, so makes this curved run. Then opens up his body to see the play. Now you can see the cross coming in. Bam. Header. All of that showcases fantastic attacking IQ for a so-called centre-back. This is more typical of Martinez. A long shot from distance. But look how he places it. Once he gets within that 25 yards D area, he's incredibly deadly. This is even more further out. And bam, top corner again. So he's clearly a goal for it. And from set pieces as well, he can jump up, get headers. He can even react to loose ball situations. And sometimes he can be a bit over ambitious. This one he even takes with his right foot. But you get the vibe. He's someone who's going to score goals. Martinez. Tactically, Ajax usually line up in a 4 3 3 or a 4 2 3 1 formation under Ten Hag with Martinez deployed as the left centre back in a back four. One of his key tactical attributes is being press resistant and enabling Ajax to play out from the back. What makes Martinez unique? He doesn't need his hand held when pressed, he backs his own dribbling, and if he's ever running out of options, he can use that trusty left foot to play the ball accurately over long distances and get Ajax on their way. The other key tactical attribute is his contributions in the final third. He's almost like a deep line playmaker in terms of the positions he takes up. And like your Cubans, he can move seamlessly from the back line and transition into the midfield line and sometimes even beyond that. At a team like United, which is renowned for its terrible press resistance and build-up play, getting in players like De Jong and Martinez will be a godsend in terms of rectifying that issue. Will they alone turn United into a title-winning force? No, but aesthetically, they help set the first foundations towards United looking more modern, more progressive and fluid in the build-up. I'd expect De Jong to drop deep and form a back three during the first phase of possession. And if Martinez ever wants to bomb forward or De Jong wants to join the attack, now there's possibilities for fluid movement and players enabling that to happen for another colleague. The link to Arsenal has been surprising because he's a left footed centre back. He's someone who has a decent weak foot, but it would take a lot away from his game to play at right centre back. So I guess they're going to get in each other's way. Together, there might still be a formidable pairing because Gabriel provides that physicality. That goes with Martinez's more nippy style. And I guess Tierney is someone who's a balanced fullback who's got experience of dropping in at centre back positions. But I just don't feel like it's the right setup for him. Could he play in a back three? Potentially, but personally, I prefer my side centre backs to be more athletic. Players like Maldini, Turan, because you've got to combine being a centre back as well as being a fullback. And I don't see Martinez as having the right physical and tactical profile to be a side centre back. In conclusion, Martinez is one of the game's most cultured young defenders. He'd be an ideal Pep Guardiola centre back. He's an energetic defender who loves to get stuck in and he's suited for a team that's looking to dominate and take its game to the opponent. A team that likes to control possession but offer a lot of variation in terms of the movement of the ball and lots of fluidity. Does he have the overall goal threat and defensive capability of a passerella? No, he's not as good as passerella in the air and he lacks the general aura of El Gran Capitan. But he could form a key part of Argentina's World Cup campaign. He's arguably their best defensive talent in quite a while and he's a defender who's the prototype of where the game could be headed, i.e. a return of free-roaming, goal-scoring centre-backs. Technically, He's too good to not be playing Champions League football, but does he have enough presence to be a world-class defender? 
I have my doubts. But in the right system and given the right tactical freedom, it could be a weapon in big games and the overall technical feel of his game could even push him towards generational status. But a lot of things have to go right. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, share and subscribe and see you guys again next time. Bye.